I don't think most people understand that when a person's elected president, they're elected into a position where they can protect themselves through their appointments. So uh, when you're president, you give a lot of people jobs. And a lot of those people you give jobs to, you don't even know who they are, but you give them jobs. And um, I really don't think most people understand that when we talk about how the military can create a dictatorship through blackmailing the president, um, it's like the military can protect, can protect themselves by, by putting so many people in so many powerful positions. So um, I'm sure everyone's going, he hates, he hates military now. And I, I'm someone that believes that the military is a very large organization and there are a lot of people in it. And I know that I tried to join it. So I can't judge them that much because I could be a military person if I didn't have asthma because I, I was rejected because of asthma. And um, I know that the military has certain things about it. I know that military people tend to be religious because they're like, oh, a bullet won't catch me because of Jesus. Thank God. Um, and for some reason, I, th I feel like being religious can encourage your patriotism because a lot of the like, like Democrats nowadays uh, think that um, Christopher Columbus was a terrible person when it really wasn't about Christopher Columbus. It was about... Um, you know, like the children of the Mayflower's children, they were the bad ones. Like when you want to, you want to talk about like when like this, the terrible things were done to the Indians, that's when it started, but it continued for a long time, you know, and I mean, including with, with Andrew Jackson, who for a long time was a, was a folk hero in the United States. And that's why he's on such an important piece of currency. And the reason he was is because he, he fought the Indians. He was tough. All right, so um, do I hate the military? Yes. Why? Because the military is trying to get me killed right now. Do I actually believe that? I think there are people in the military that have wanted me killed for a long time. And I think there are people in the military that don't want me killed for sure. And I think that we're part of the military and I think that um, other people are part of the military and the military has dug themselves a hole that's super deep through um, blackmailing the president and everyone's going, wait, the military, okay, the military is in charge of intelligence agencies, like CIA, when you meet a, a CIA person, they very well might have a military background. When you meet an NSA person, they might, might very well have a military background. That's why the last three people in charge of the NSA, like actually in charge, I'm not talking about interim, I'm talking about actually in charge, they've all been, wait, no, I'm talking about NSA, not CIA. I don't know if I said that. I, I don't know how, the last, the last three people in charge of the NSA were all, Military. All right, so military would be involved with spying, big data. Uh, how do I know that the NSA is obsessed with big data? Because I have met an NSA recruiter before and he told me, we want big data on your resume, so you should put it on there. And that's why I went and learned uh, Apache Spark. All right, so um, the military. How many of them were involved with blackmailing the president? I don't know. How many of these appointments? Um, were are in the know i don't know all i know is there's a missing austin bomber confession and that he was a federal agent and it's not just the military covering for him at this point it's congress people and um i mean let, let's just face it um there's something about politics that means you're shameless because you spend that much time calling on the phone for donations that's your entire life but and you do it so that people will worship you for making laws uh, I'm just saying there's something about that psychology. Similarly, there's something about the psychology of a military person because think of it, um, on one hand, there are people that are religious and patriots and they're the good ones. They're the good military people. <laughs> Thank God that they have this irrational belief system um, and we give them guns to go kill people um, because, because they're actually trustworthy. Actually, I mean, seriously though, like I'm grateful for, for those people. But then they're also like, People that join the military to exploit it. People that join the military because they're psychotic. People that join the military because um, there's something about joining the military where your your job is to kill, and you can get away with things. And um, um, I don't know. I mean, I think that the military can attract people for all different reasons. But um, regardless of the reasons that the people that are in charge of the military who are 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 involved with what I, I believe is overthrowing the United States government through blackmail. Um, like how, how, why am I so certain about this? 
Well, the military knows why. Because back when I caught the NSA hacking me, they had my boss say that the Secret Service wanted to do a project with me on Bro IDS, which is an intrusion detection system that I use to catch um, NSA hackers. And then after that, like like half the NSA showed up in my office, like ten of them, and the chief technical officer was there, and a P and people that were like station chiefs. I didn't I didn't even know there were station chiefs. I didn't know there was a chief technical officer in the NSA. They all show up in my office, and they want me to do Android forensics. They want me to change the, the work I'm doing um, because I was working for the Department of Homeland Security, or I was working based on a grant for the Department of Homeland Security. I was working. I was actually working for someone that was retired military police. That's like really good at computer forensics. Um, which means um, computer investigations. Um, so um, they all showed up in my office, and it, it was very clear that they made it, that it was a big deal. And it had been told to me in my head that this hack is a big deal. A lot of people want to murder you over catching um, these hackers. And um, that's what kind of kept my mouth shut, and it made me like cover my tracks like of, of how I caught them. Like I, I, I hid breadcrumbs to lie about how I caught them for, cause I was surrounded by people from foreign governments and stuff like that. And, um, um, all I'm saying is the government knows for a fact that they told me in my head about that. The, the, the government, just like it's been proven to me that my brain can be hacked because if not, then I would have given up a long time ago. You have to understand I'm a rational person. Like you had to really, really, really work to prove it to me to get me to this point where I say the stuff I say, you have no idea. Like apparently Kim Jong-un's alive. I thought that Kim Jong-un got murdered. Apparently he didn't, uh, but they told me to say it and I, there was a reason for it. Um, so um, what I'm trying to say is I'm 100% certain that you can hack my brain. The military's 100% certain they, like I'm telling you, like if, if there's anything I know is the military knows me, you know why? Because I did a project on Hillary Clinton, why she lost her, and I was, I was, par I was partners with this Nigerian guy. And the day of my presentation, I was studying in the library, like I always do around the same people that I don't even know them. Like I know, I knew them, but I didn't know them. And this guy who uh, told me he had the highest level of security, the highest security clearance possible, like he can see the specs on Russian bombs. Uh, he goes, oh, is that today? Oh, your 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 lecture on your speech on Hillary Clinton's today? Because apparently behind the scenes it had turned into a big deal what I was saying about why she lost, and the reason she lost is because um, she was afraid of taking any stances. All she did was try to be um, non-offensive, and she thought that she could win by being non-offensive, and um, she can't, and neither can Joe Biden.